She's your queen to be. Kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. DJ turn up the speaker. DJ turn up the speaker. Got them follow the leader. Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys love my new intro. I was trying to make it funny and be more personal, be more myself in the intro, so I hope you like it. So today we're gonna be talking about the battle between the setting powders and how to combat that ashiness and that flashback because I know that it's very difficult, especially in the dark skin community. Like, we can't find no setting powders that work. Like, it's just, it's difficult and, and we, we don't have time for the ash. We don't have time for the ghost effect, okay? Okay. I will be talking about this bad boy right here and how this gets you like this. Pictures like this, honey. Pictures like this with the slaying skin. Yes, honey. Because for some reason, I'm not trying to bash Sasha Buttercup or anything like that because I, I've been using this for the longest. It just, it leaves me like this. Yeah, it's not cute, sis. It's really not cute. The lighter skin people, yes, girl, you, y'all slay this right here. You slay. But for my complexion, I don't care what I do, it just doesn't work. It just, it won't work for me. It just doesn't work. So yes, I will be showing you guys how to combat that ashy skin and get y'all nice and set without looking like a ghost. All right guys, so let me get this, you know, head wrap off because my edges have been chilling and laying the slage underneath this head wrap. So let me get this off. So one of the first steps that I have to help ensure that you don't get flashback is matching your neck or if you have for me i have to match my neck because i have hyperpigmentation so my neck is darker than my face i don't know if you guys can see well you know what it's kind of hard to see right now but in actual light outside my neck is darker than my face so yeah um that means i have to go a few shades darker on my face my foundation because it's just it don't look right if I try to match my skin and then my neck is black okay if you're dark like this please don't go on with the foundation like this honey please don't do that to yourself okay let's just let's just keep the colors simple in the world you know don't don't be looking like a pancake okay just do you so with that being said, I'm going in with my two. I have to mix my foundations because this is too dark at the moment. This is the LA Girl um, Pro uh, Coverage Foundation and this is the HD one. Um, it's in the shade Dark Chocolate, the darkest one they have, but it's way too dark by itself. Um, so I mix it with this one, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Powerless Foundation. Excuse me, I have a little sniffles a little bit. And this is the three, number 355 in Coconut. Okay, so I'm just gonna be taking that on the back of my hand and mixing them to Disregard that. I use about one pump of that because that's that should be enough. Don't use too much. Another tip, don't use too much product because that enables the cake face and you know the ashiness look. Don't do that. Just use just enough. Making a little thing here and I'm just gonna be mixing it on the back of my hand. I know it looks light, but you'll see when I'm done mixing it around that it looks like a nice shade of brown. You guys see that? That's the ending result color. I'm just gonna be placing this all over, you know, on my face. Okay, so to blend out all of my foundation, concealer, and, and setting, you know, the setting powder today, I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques um, sponge, so yeah. The Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Okay, we're back. Sorry, you guys. I was looking really, really dark, and that's, you can't really see what I'm doing if I look real, real dark, so excuse that. I apologize. Okay, so don't forget to get your neck because um, you don't want to have like that separation in your line. Just make sure you get your neck. So I'm just going to take like the rest of it on my hand and just like pat my neck like this. 
So we're gonna be moving on to concealer now. So what I've noticed that over time, like in my past, like, you know, videos on doing my foundation base, I've been using a concealer that was way too light for my skin complexion. Like those that does not help the, the whole ashy issue because it's sometimes not your powder. It's mostly the, the color you set your powder as, like, you know, that really bright yellow, you know, for dark skin people. Not the best move. What I like to do is use these two LA Girl Pro concealers. Now, before in the past, I would just use this one by itself, which is like really, really yellow. If it will focus, this is like the what is this shade? The toffee shade, and it's just it's too yellow by itself. So now I'm gonna use the beautiful bronze first. This is a beautiful bronze shade, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this one in the inside of it, and I will show you. How I do that. Um, and then we're gonna place the toffee shade right in the middle. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You want to go back in with your uh, Real Techniques complexion sponge and just blend all of this out. I do take my concealer on top of my lids, so if anyone wants to know, I do do that. Sometimes when I want to get like harsh areas on, this, on my face, I like to go in with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that it says Expert Face Brush. And I just basically go around all the areas that like I place the concealer. So just the edges of that area, not right on top of it, but the edges of it. And I'll just like blend it out. So like up here, um, is where like the edges have been blended out over here it's just for extra security like if you feel as if um sometimes your face makeup looks blotchy this is just helping all these steps so now here comes the fun part oh you thought i was gonna be using this today no ma'am no ma'am i'm going to be using the white white <laughs> RCMA no color powder. This is what it looks like right here. Yes, it looks like a salt and pepper or a salt bottle, but you know, this stuff will have you set, honey. This, mm, mm, this is my new fave. I never thought that I would love a white powder so much. So let's get into this review here. I don't have a cap to put the, only thing I don't really like about this is that the bottle is just like this. So it's kind of difficult to um, you know, put it in anything like that, it's kind of hard to pour it out. So yeah, that sucks. But I'll just take, you know, my little sister Sasha Buttercup here, her cap, and then I'll pour some of that cap, uh, pour some of the RCMA into the cap. It's a very fine powder, meaning that it's super soft. So like. It's, it's like air, basically, on your face. It's air. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you just want to make sure, of course, that there's no creases under your eyes or anything like that. So I need you to go back and blend out anything. If there has been creasing, honey, you need to blend that out before you start applying your um, setting powder. But I'm pouring it into the cap and getting it on my sponge. And I'm placing it onto my face. I'm even going to set my entire face with this, you guys. I'm going to set my entire face with this product. Just to show you guys that there's absolutely no flashback. I do not leave um, any setting powders on my face for more than like 
a few minutes because and it's not because oh i think it's gonna get ashy or anything or i'm scared or no it's not because i just don't like to leave powders on i frankly don't have time for all of that so let's get to dusting this off going back in with my face expert brush this is awesome for all of this type of stuff if you, if you need a good brush to dust off powder uh this is a good brush i'm p pushing it into the skin and dusting it off at the same time so pushing and dusting off Now what I like to do is go in with a face powder. I'm going in with the Milani face powder in the shade Earth Glow. All right guys, so I am back with the finished face here. Highlights and everything, you know, everything is show popping and whatnot. So if you guys really want to see like an updated foundation, contour, highlight routine, I will be happy to do that for you guys. So, so like this video if you want to see that and make a comment down below saying, yes girl, hit us up. Hit us up with that video. Okay, so now I'm going to do a final flash test with my lights on and with my lights off with the completed base. Ooh, if you guys want to see a what's on my iPhone 8 Plus video, then you can comment that down below too. I will be happy to do that for you guys as well. All right, so this is going to be a flash picture taken with the lights on. My eyes were completely closed, so let me do that over again. <laughs> All right, I'm like the worst at taking single shots. Um, because they never look right. <laughs> but uh, focus, focus, focus. Uh, I'm about to just like upload the pictures onto the screen or something like that. Okay, so you can clearly see that I do not have any flashback people. None, absolutely no flashback. No flashback, pancake syndrome is gone. Now I'm gonna be taking this picture without light. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yes, okay. I don't know why it keeps making my the screen look like it's, uh, you know, my face is ashy, but I promise to God, you guys, like, I do not look as ashy as it looks in this picture. <laughs> but that's really how it looks, like, for real. That's how it looks. I don't have flashback here, guys. I'm just gonna be uploading, probably just uploading the pictures onto the screen because this is how the picture looks, people. This is how it looks. It looks just like this and it's not ashy whatsoever. It actually looks hella chocolatey. <laughs> like, I do not look ashy at all. I don't know why it's making me look ashy when I turn the light off, but. See, that's what it looks like. So this is a close up of my face and how it looks compared to my neck and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed because I am supposed to be getting ready for church right now. So let me go ahead and get dressed and I'll be right back. <laughs> So I gotta prove But the meant to stay the same for me Because oh, no matter where I go I'll be all good vibes And my worship on, you know, you know So thank you so much for reaching it all the way to the end of this video You are awesome for sticking all the way through We are at 7,000 subscribers 7,000 kings and queens Like I cannot believe that Once again, I'm just gonna state my opinions about the product um, I just, I, I do love Sasha Buttercup setting powder, I really do, but I feel like this could be more for my yellow tone, you know, my little yellow caramel color babies, you know what I mean? Because I feel like this doesn't give any flashback or leaves you ashy on their skin complexion because it blends right in. So yes, browner skin people and then yellow kind of uh, complexion kind of colored ladies out there, yes, this is perfect for you. But to all my really dark skinned people, um, I'm not trying to say that I'm really, really dark because I am dark, but I'm not extremely dark. The people that are darker than I am, this is actually really good. You just have to know how to properly use it. And I hope I was able to 
show you how to properly use it so <laughs> thank you all so much for um watching the video uh if you want to join the spam then subscribe down below it's free like just click the button and join the fam already we need you we love you we we want you so yes um thank you guys so much once again for watching this video peace out see you later